I'm Mike Harrison. I'm a physical therapist. I have a outpatient orthopedic practice uh, in Orange County, and I show up every day. I evaluate injuries of all types, develop a plan to restore their strength, and um, really enjoy being of help to them. Like all football players, you, you get injured a lot. In one of my classes at the University of Utah, they talked about physical therapy, and I just thought, wow, that sounds a lot like what I'm already doing every day. I'm injured and I exercise, maybe that would be a good field for me. It's a perfect match for what I like to do. I, I can train every day in my office. I get a lot of hunters and hikers in here. I can talk to them. I know what they're trying to do. So it's a very good fit for me. I, I don't see myself retiring. It's really fun for me to come and do what I do. I started um, hunting, I think it was my mother's doing because she wanted me out of the house. I had an area around me at that time that was open country. I could walk as far as I wanted. Started making bows at a young age, and with a bow and arrow, I could go about anywhere, and nobody bothered me. And uh, that's kind of how I started getting into hunting and getting away from the clutter of a busy day at school and, and out of the neighborhood. So uh, when I was young, my parents would often take us to the drive-in, and we one night went to see the movie Robin Hood. None of the shots, none of the stunts could be animated or touched up. They had to be live shots with a bow and arrow. And the man they hired was Howard Hill. He would literally shoot weapons out of the hands of other actors. And when I saw him shooting during the movie and then saw him do a short of shooting his bow, I couldn't dream of doing anything but that. It was so, so fascinating, the control he had of his bow and arrow. We didn't have a lot of money when I was a child, and my cousin had a bow that was broken, but I took that broken bow, made the limbs match each other, shortened it, and I, I could shoot it. And it worked very well, until one day I went to the sporting goods store and I saw some bows that were all wood, and they were about six bucks at the time. It took me, it took me several weeks at 50 cents a week to save the money, but I finally bought a store but bought bow. My dad taught me to lift weights at age 12. I've lifted weights all my life. I'm coming up on 75. I, lift, I lifted weights this morning. Uh, I feel good when I lift weights. I feel good when I hike. I like the vistas. I like the distances we travel. And it isn't just because that's where the animals are. It's kind of where I want to be. I, I want to feel that, that, that elevation and see the distances. And um, that just gives me a sense of relief and also accomplishment that I, I managed to still climb up on those peaks. We would hunt 40 or 50 days a year. Jason and his brother Adam would always go, even before they had a license. So I exposed the children to hunting and camping. I didn't try to endorse it or promote it or um, overly compliment them. I, I wanted them to make a decision it was where they wanted to be. They felt the same escape benefits of going hunting. It's not another type A activity. We're not running around trying to win awards or, or, or set records. We're simply escaping from the life that we normally live and relying on our own senses and abilities and primitive weapons really to go hunting, just as a, a way of, of uh, kind of renewing ourselves. It was a landmark animal for me was a doll sheep, and I, this was late in life. But this is a, a, an animal that I'd said I'll never go hunt because it's too expensive. My father died, I was at the funeral, and you're going, I wonder what this guy didn't get done. Well, I mean, he did so much for us. So I thought, you know what? I'm going sheep hunting. And I went. <laughs> we had 12 days, if you've ever backpacked for sheep, in those days we're carrying 60 pounds, we have no pickup. We we're just gonna go from point A to point B. And as luck would have it, on the last night, I kill a monster ram. That whole experience and the work it took culminating with that ram was really something special. I wanna to continue to know who I am. What am I about? It's just too easy to blame quitting on an age or a disability. I have no intention of quitting. If I have to crawl, I will go out into the hills because that's kind of where I feel the best. You fly into some remote area, you're 100 miles from anybody, the plane flies away. I feel like I've come home. <laughs> I, 
I, I feel better and warmer and more comfortable in those environments than I do driving down the road here outside my office. So I want to hang on to that, and I want to see as much of that as I can till the day I can't possibly do it. But it's going to take that before I stop doing what I do outdoors.